The illumination process erases the imprints of disease from the luminous energy field. It clears the field. And when the field is clear, then you begin to create health instead of creating disease. Remember that the luminous energy field is a matrix. It contains the information that you inherited from your family of origin about how you will live, how you will age, how you will suffer, and how you will die. When we're able to clear the imprints from the field, we're able to have an original life. So the illumination process erases, erases. It takes these toxic energies out of the field, erases the imprints, and overwrites them with light. The process is quite simple. So what the shamans of old discovered was that they could open their wirakocha, that they could open sacred space, expand this eighth chakra around them. This eighth chakra is known as the wirakocha, or the source of the sacred. And when they expanded this eighth chakra around themselves, they would be entering into timelessness. They would step outside of time. And then they would work with their clients holding deepening points right above the head and helping their clients go into a very deep state of consciousness and relaxation. These are points that in acupuncture are known as the heavenly gates. And they are actually about two centimeters from the midline in the back of your head, right underneath the occipital ridge where the base of your skull connects with muscle, where the muscles go inside the base of your skull. And you hold a person primarily with two fingers, holding them, their heads, the weight of their heads, and breathing with them while you're enveloping them and holding them inside of your Vida Kocha. So the process is expanding your Vida Kocha, expanding this bubble of light around yourself and expanding it over your partner or your client and holding these deepening points until they're able to go into a healing state into a very deeply relaxed state that is harmonious with yours, where you have congruence, where your heartbeats begin to breathe together, where you are, your brain waves begin to um, go into the same frequencies, where your heart rhythms, the heart is a great drummer in the body, go into congruence. And then at that point, you can reach into a chakra and begin to spin that chakra counterclockwise to drain whatever toxic energies might be inside that chakra. And flicking those energies away and coming again and spinning that chakra counterclockwise and flicking those energies to the earth that that person doesn't need because the chakras are shaped like funnels. And at the very bottom of the funnel, heavy energies and toxic energies can settle. And as you're putting a chakra into backwash, the chakra will begin to release these energies and you can reach down and actually top, pick them up and toss them out of the field. And then when that work is complete, the chakra is empty. The chakra has been cleaned, has been cleansed from these toxic energies. And at that point, you reach up to this radiant sun above your head. You reach up to this radiant sun and you bring that light into the chakra. And you're filling that chakra with light and you're overwriting the imprint in the field, you're overwriting it with light. The light of the eighth chakra is the light of creation itself. This is where spirit resides within you. 
and you're reaching up into this light of spirit and bringing pure spirit down to fill the chakra of your client. And that gets distributed throughout the body and reinforms the entire body. So if your client came to see you because they are suffering from a particular condition or there's a disease that runs in their family, you're clearing the imprint for that condition from their field so they don't have to live it out physically. And it's all done with light.